Question 18. This is clearly a simultaneous equation. The question, it tells us that we've got two equations, each one's got an x and a y, and we want to find out the answer for each. There's a couple of different ways to go about it. What I would have done, like lots of these things, there's lots of different methods. I would go and I would look to try and um, make either the x's or the y's the same. In this question, it seems convenient. If we double this top equation, you can see we're going to get 4y here, or minus 4y here, and 4y here. So let's double this top equation, and let's get 10x minus 4y is equal to 26. And then let's keep this bottom equation the same, 7x minus uh, plus 4y equals 8. Now normally, normally we would subtract the simultaneous equations to eliminate one of them. But because can we can see this is minus 4y and plus 4y, the different signs here. If we go ahead and subtract, this is wrong. If we went ahead and subtract, we would get 10 minus 7, which is 3x. And we would get minus 4 minus 4, which would be minus 8y. And then we get 26 minus 8, which is uh, 18. Now that doesn't help because that's still an equation at x and y. So let's backtrack. That tells us that subtracting was the wrong thing to do. Adding is the thing that we want to do. So adding these things together we get 17x. Adding these equations together, minus 4y and plus 4y, gives us 0. And adding the numbers gives us 34. And now we've just got an equation in x. So we can easily tell that x must be 2. Uh, now, we're going to go and put that answer back into one of the equations from the question. And you can do whichever one you like. I like the look of this one, to be honest. Mm, do I? Well, I, on one hand, I like the look of this one because it's positive. I like the look of this one because the y's are small. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's put it into equation 2. You can put it into either. It'll work. So instead of 5x minus 2y equals 13, I'm going to go 5. I know my answer for x. So really, that's 10 minus 2y. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. I've not put it into equation number 2. I've put it into equation number 1. My apologies. I went and said I was going to do equation 2, and then actually I went and did equation 1 instead. So, if we put it into equation 1, I've written that equation 1, and then I've just replaced the x with 2. So that's 10 minus 2y is 13. So if I'm on 10, and I'm taking away something, but my answer is bigger, I know that this thing, okay, the minus 2y, has got to be worth 3. So this thing, well, I've actually got to realise that y must be minus 1.5. So, check to understand how I've solved the second part of the equation here. We've got x equals 2, y equals minus 1.5. Now, most people just finish the question there, and the question is finished, and we've got an answer for x and y, which is good. But I like to go back and I like to check. So you see here, I did equa equation number 2. I'd like to go back in and always check in the other equation. Check in equation 2. So we did equation 1, I'm going to go back and check in equation 2. And this is something you can do uh, at the end of um, the exam. If you've run out of time, if you've not run out of time, you've got spare time left, which lots of you do have, and you feel like you just close your paper and you want to stop, this is a good thing to do. You can guarantee these four marks. So let's check equation 2 for answers. So equation 2 says 7x plus 4y equals 8. We're saying x is worth 2. So 2 times 7 times 2 is 14. 4 times minus 1.5 is minus 6. And that does indeed equal 8. So that is true. OK? Now, if I've got a calculation here where I didn't get the number from the first question, I know that one or both of these are wrong. So it's really worth checking.